In this edition of Beijing Bound, we look at two different runners. Lisa Waitman from the Knox and Preston Clubs has earned herself a place on the start line of the Olympic Marathon. While in the sprints, Athletics Chilwell's Kelly Cartwright has been selected in Paralympics 100m T42 class for above knee amputees. Um, I lost my leg to cancer probably nearly four years ago in November and I've always been um, a very outgoing person and I decided that I wanted to learn how to run on, a, on my walking prosthesis which is really hard and then um, a few people put their hands up to help me um, recognise that I could run on a running prosthesis and then ever since then my time's been coming down. I started running with Preston Athletics Club and I actually joined the club as the only girl and ran with the boys team so it was quite a daunting experience my first my first um, flavour of Athletics Victoria events uh, but the competition welcomed me and I was actually um, uh, watched because I was competing against the boys in the under 14s. Training base for Kelly is at Landy Field in Geelong. She's coached by Anula Costa, a former Sri Lankan record holder and national champion in the long jump. In Sri Lanka I did all the co events coaching. Came to Australia and came to Geelong, chose to do sprints, jumps and hurdles. And who is your coach? Anula Costa. <laughs> She's really good. And does she look after you well? She does, she does. She's like a second mum. Uh, very first time I did one-on-one -on -one training with her because I have to do a lot of modification um, exercises, so technique work and drills and stuff. Um, so I managed to do one-on-one -on -one and get into a certain standard. Then I integrated her to the normal athletics group and she handles pretty well. Um, just getting used to the processes every day is just learning like techniques a, a big thing for me and um, just getting more and more confident on the on my running leg like I have days that I just want to throw it away because <laughs> it just gets so frustrating but just getting used to it and little minor changes every minor change to my running leg is a huge change to me so having to change it every every so often I have to, means I have to train that little bit harder and just get used to it every every bit more. At the moment I'm doing a bit more strength and power work with her and a lot of uh, core stability strength work with her. It has been increased than before um, and the training pace is I have doing um, two periodization programs at this stage because I did one first for uh, nationals and then now I'm doing the second one for Beijing now. As with all the distance athletes, considerable training time has been spent in heat chambers to simulate conditions expected in Beijing. So at the moment we're at 34.3 degrees and 77.4 percent humidity. I'm 500 feet on the mark, so I'm like, I just can't afford that. No. And um, so I thought, all right, I'll leave it once tickets come out. You know, I'll try and get what I can and then just head over there. All right. So here we're measuring Lisa's core body temperature. So Lisa ingested a uh, pill this morning, which has a transmitter in there, and then we we're able to measure just um how hot her actual core body temperature is. At the moment she's at 36.55 degrees Celsius. And we grab her heart rate, she's at 125. And perceived exertion, how hard do you think you're working? Um, eight. eight. So the sessions are staged, so the humidity is being increased each session. And Monday, I'm going to do some pre-cooling work, so I'm going to have a Gatorade Slurpee before I run and wear an ice vest and before I come in here, and then we're going to do some stuff on the treadmill. So because I'm running, you know, 130 to 140k a week, they don't want me to do a session on the treadmill as well because it'll take away from my normal training program, and this is a bit low impact, so it's just an additional bit of training. As well as the heat chamber, the Victorian Institute of Sport is assisting Lisa with a specialised stretching routine. About there, it'll start to get a bit tight. Basically, we're just working on some range of motion to try and deload the body from the, the wear and tear of training uh, and just work on any asymmetries with the, the tightness issues that she may have uh, just to try and prevent some injuries going forward leading into the games. You are the other and runs into some fatigue issues and potential injury issues. So, if we can start equalising some of those length issues from left to right, yeah. we should be able to deload that, that right side there. Um, yeah, it did come as a surprise this year. It came as a surprise that I'd ran such a good time to be able to qualify for Beijing. 
considering two years ago I did did think about I wanted to run at Beijing but I never actually thought that I'd be able to represent my country so soon. She will do a good PB um, and uh, saying that she's, uh, she's came up to the standard within a very short period um, and also this is the first international experience for her so it can be psychologically a lot of differences. London was my first marathon so I went over with the, the idea of giving it a shot to try and run the qualifying time and had not really um, great idea as to what was going to happen after sort of 25k uh, because I hadn't really ran that you know ran that far prior to that so at, at that pace so it was a pretty pretty big surprise to actually cross the line in in the time that I ran even though I knew I was fit you just never know with the marathon it's such an unknown event what's been the highlight of your athletic career so far oh, I have to say making the Olympic Games <laughs> uh, yeah so definitely definitely you can't really top that I don't think um, but yeah I mean just just Running itself has it's, it's been it's helped my career, my professional career, my life, my fitness and health. So it's um yeah, and, and the friendships I've made in athletics have been just friendships that I'm gonna have for the rest of my life. So it's not all about making Olympic Games, there's a whole lot of other things that I get out of it too. Athletics Victoria wishes all the best to our athletes that are bound for Beijing.